This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So now uh, it's time to, uh, what to say, test, perform testing in the sense like whichever configurations we have done, right? So now we'll post a transaction and we'll check like whatever configurations we have done is everything is fine or still anything is missing or any mistake is there. So now here, what is happening guys, that is going to be performed with the help of document posting. You guys, uh, if you are able to remember in previous session, I told you like whatever the transactions are there, that is called document. So transaction posting is nothing but document posting. At the time of posting of transactions, transaction number is getting generated. So that transaction number is called document number. Now, so here we are going to post certain transactions. Okay. See, I'll tell you what for we are implementing this SAP to manage all the financial transactions of Tata Motor with the help of SAP, right? This is an ERP. Now, so uh, just let's have a look a simple uh, transaction. Say, for example, uh, you know, rent worth of any amount, right? So rent account is going to be debited and any amount, guys, and then your bank account is going to be credited. So here what is happening guys? Now, so first of all, <clears throat> we'll do one thing now. So I'll show you here in a SAP how the transactions are getting posted. So use transaction code F-02 to post. This is called normal JV. JV means journal voucher, right? Journal voucher means what guys? Whenever GL to GL entries are taking place, that we can say JV, normal JV. So now here we are going to post this transaction into SAP. Use F-02 tra transaction code. Now look at here, guys. Now this is called what? This is called this is called this this upper side whatever. I'll just do one thing, guys. Here or just uh, just. Wait for a moment. Okay, so now here guys, we'll do one thing, just, uh, uh, I'll just show you here now. So whatever this area is there, I'm talking about this part, okay? Make like this. Okay, now I'm talking about this area. This is called what guys? This is called document letter. Okay, this is called we can say like header part. Okay, I'll just increase the font size. Okay, this is called header part. Now, what about this remaining one? Like here, this is called line item. Okay, now uh, I'll explain guys. Line items are getting controlled by field status group. If you guys are able to remember field status variant, we have already, uh, you know, like in basic setting, I have explained what is the use of field status variant. So field status variant controls the fields which appears during transaction posting. So right now what I'm doing, this is a transaction posting only, right? This is a transaction posting only. So look at here. This is your line item. This is our line item. Okay, this is called line item. Now, so here called header, that upper side, this is called header part and this is called line item. In header, header part, how many things are appearing? Look at here, like document date, posting date, this document type, company code, currencies, uh, you know, reference field and header text. A reference field and header text. Try to remember guys in a previous session I have covered a topic called document type. 
okay so in header part see i'll tell you first of all entire when we post the transactions it is going to be like transactions at the time of transaction posting whatever the screens are appearing in that like header header part will be there and line item part will be there in the sense header details and line item details so in header details what is happening these are the things which is the part of header details document document date posting date this number uh, what do you say document number document number is going to be used guys if you are going to use external uh, what do you say number range in fb n1 transaction code previously what happened i have created a number range also right so number range can be document number can be generated by system internally it means automatically system is going to generate the document number automatically one by one in a serial number right at the same time if you are going to there was a check mark if you guys are able to remember or if not able to remember you can refer that number in segment uh, what is a video that is why uh, one by one i have recorded everything and simple topic wise i have recorded the video so that whenever you want to switch from one topic to other topic easily you can switch right under basic setting number range topic will be there so there you can see external checkbox is there if you are going to apply a check mark on external then what is happening here you need to give the document number manually now so as i told you guys first of all uh, don't apply this check mark right now once you perform this entire what you say configurations and testing and all once you become uh, what you say once you are having good understanding and all then you can make any kind of testing whatever you want now so here this is called header part under header under header details like whatever the fields are there where is the control because i told under line item even like next screen next screen also multiple fields are going to appear that is also the part of line item itself so now here under line item whichever the fields are there that is going to be controlled by what that is going to be controlled by field status field status variant or so called field status group both are same right because inside of variant we are having field status group isn't it try to understand the logic once again i am repeating here guys if you understand the logic then everything is easy or else if you are not able to understand the logic you no matter whatever topics you have uh, practiced whatever configurations you have done you learned all the configurations but that is going to be wasted of your time because you don't know the logic right so here now what i am saying that line items whatever the fields are going to appear at line line item level even some more fields are going to appear that i am going to show you don't worry okay now just listen this carefully so whatever the fields are appearing at line item level that is going to be controlled by field status variant or so called field status group because inside of field status variant if you say field status variant it means field status group is the part of field status variant itself right so it is going to be controlled by field status variant what about the header part where is the control so guys from document header only two fields are going to be controlled remaining fields are not having any control guys this document date document type company code uh, currencies by default this is a required entry this is a required in the sense mandatory uh, what to say you must have to give this company code you must have to give currency rate you must have to give document date this is by default this is a required entry okay the only two fields reference and reference and header text these are only two fields which is going to be controlled and this controlled this control is there at where at document type level it means under header part two fields reference and header text is going to be controlled by document type okay and remaining whatever the fields are appearing at line item level that is going to be controlled by field status variant and even the same this line item field uh, fields are getting controlled by posting key also but some differences are there that also i'll show you don't worry that also uh, i have already explained like one is client level setting and uh, other is company code level setting right uh, posting key is a client level setting and uh, this field status uh, variant or so called field status group is company code level setting so some differences are there right now so this is what now uh so i'll just do one thing let me okay now now what i'll do so here we'll try to post a transaction and then we'll see first of all let me post the transactions and then we'll see like uh, whether any error is taking place or not okay so you just give 
a document date here. Now, there is a difference between document date and closing date. What is this difference, guys? There'll be a topic called terms of payment. If you guys are having perfect understanding of that terms of payment topic, you guys will be, you'll be able to know about this. So that is going to be covered in the upcoming session. I'll explain about the terms of payment, right? Now, give your company code, TM00, okay? And here period, in which period transactions are getting posted. First of all, your company code is TM00, right? And for TM00, which, what is your financial year, guys? Okay, so financial year, we are following April to March. If it is April to March, then April is the first period, then May, June, July, and August. It means this is the fifth period. You can give fifth year manually if you are able to calculate. Or is even if you don't give fifth, then no worries. Why? Because already we have defined our fiscal year variant. And from there, system automatically system is going to determine this posting period. Automatically system is going to determine how because these transactions are getting posted against against this uh, Tata motor, right? So against this Tata motor, what is happening? Which field status variant we have assigned, guys? As I told you, whenever you have to check the assignment, you can use either OBY6 transaction code where at one single plate, what you say, screen itself, you can get to know all the assignments, almost like whatever the basic setting related assignments are there. Or else, you can use OB37 and here you can check which, uh, what to say, uh, you can let me give you a page for. Okay, and then click on position, TM00. And here you have to, so look at here T0. This is my field status variant and here April to March, right? So under T0, what setting is there, guys? If you go to OB29, by which we can define fiscal year variant. So under OB29, you will be having the setting for T0 means like here you just need to come down again come down keep on coming down and here somewhere it is T0 here it is right double click on periods so look at here how system is able to determine so this fourth period is going to be fourth month in the sense April is going to be treated as a first period so that is automatically system is going to determine these things okay so period is going to be determined by system automatically if you want to give, you can give or else you can. Currency, whatever your company code currency is there that you can give, whether it is INR, USD, GBP, Australian dollar, whichever the currency is there that you can give. Okay. Now, I told you guys here, if you guys are able to remember that instead of debit and credit, what is happening? We are going to use posting key. So instead of debit, we are going to give posting key pick 40. And instead of credit, I have to give a posting key 50. Now there will be a question in your mind. How it is possible to remember the posting key? Is it possible or, or like there might be a question in your mind. Do we need to remember all this posting key? I'll tell you guys, not at all. You need not to remember the posting key. Then the question is how? So that is also I'll let you know because uh, at least like here right now I'm showing this F-02 transaction code, right? But I'll tell you guys generally as a consultant whenever you are going to perform testing and all then we are having multiple other transaction code also given by SAP, right? Now, so nowadays the users are not using F-02 but still you should have some, uh, you know, like you should know every transaction code, right? So here it depends upon, uh, you know, like uh, users whether they want to use F-02 or they want to use different transactions code See, same transaction can be posted by different, different way. SAP has given multi, multiple options, right? So right now, we are using, which one? We are using F-02 transaction code to post JV, general voucher, okay? So now here, let's suppose, as I said, like here, okay, so now here, so instead of debit, what is happening? 40 and instead of credit, 50. These are the posting key we are going to give. This is how system will be able to understand that 40 is debit and 50 is credit. So here, what we are going to do. So here, 40 by default is coming. So 40 means debit. Debit with GL account, guys. So your GL account 40, rent GL account. What is the GL number for this rent account and all? If you are able to remember, you can give it or else you can click on this drop down. This square symbol is there, right? 
you just click on that and look at here your chart of account is appearing press enter so right now we are having only two gl accounts right rent and bank so look at here bank gl account is 1000 and rent gl account number is 4000 you double click on rent gl account so now we came to know that rent gl number rent gl account number is 4000 just press enter here this is the first error guys if you are able to remember the posting period variant i think uh, so there what we have done we have opened a different posting period open over there like different posting period means like i have given i have opened fifth period i have opened fifth period over there right so uh, sorry i have opened a different period i don't know what right now system is saying that as per as per the fiscal year variant april to march august is the fifth period right so system is saying that posting period 05 triple 05 2020 is not open i'll tell you there are multiple such kind of common errors are there which is going to appear at the time of practice guys so again a separate set of uh, recording i have made for this like whatever the current common errors are going to appear in sap and what what is the root cause of error and how you are going to uh, what to say uh, solve this errors and all for that a separate tutorial i have already what is it prepared so you can uh, refer back those those tutorial those those videos now here right now so here here i'll explain so posting period uh, uh, you know 05 2020 is not open why 05 2020 is not open guys so and where is the root cause of this what is the root cause of this error so this is related to post period right so is saying that that message is quite clear even if you double click on this error masses what is happening you are going to get the details in you are going to get the details here is system saying that posting period is not open you can get message number particular message number is there right so posting period this one for fiscal year 2020 is not open right and what is the solution most likely the solutions also will be given sometime what is happening guys sometime you guys will not be able to understand but an experienced guy will be able to understand very quickly the moment we are going to have a look on this error immediately we will come, come to know so this is a very basic error guys even uh, a fresher also will be able to understand once you are going to have a look look at here the solution is like you need to open and close the posting period just just you need to open the posting period open and close posting period means what guys i'll tell you now if you are able to remember in the previous session we are having posting period variant so i have defined a posting period variant that posting period variant is assigned with your company code right and after assignment we have performed one more activity called open and close posting period what is the transaction code ob52 go to here and what is your posting period variant guys if you are able to remember it's okay if not able to remember oby6 transaction code you can use okay now posting period variant p PPV is my code that I'm able to remember. So give here this code. I'll look at here. Now posting period variant I have given seven. Right? This is the wrong posting period variant, guys. It is supposed to be, I think. This is supposed to be fifth period. Right? Why? Because at the time of explanations, I have uh, explained like uh, what to say uh, as per calendar year, right? I might have quoted or, or else like uh, seven period I have given. So seven period means like what is happening, guys? That is a wrong period. If I give a wrong period, then only what will happen, guys? The errors are going to appear. Once the errors are going to appear, then you guys will be able to understand. If errors are not appearing, then how you guys will be able to learn, right? That is why I recommend to everybody, I even to my students also, whoever my students are there in my online classes and all, I recommend to everybody that use only online server. Why online server, guys? If you're going to use this online server then in that multiple people are doing their experiments right uh, multiple people are doing experiment in different different modules so what will happen of course every now and then somebody is going to make some changes and all in in terms of configurations in terms of settings and all and because of that you guys are going to get some errors so if you get the errors then only you will be able to then only you are going to find out the root cause of these errors and then only your knowledge level is going to increase if there is no error then what you guys are going to learn right if there is no error nothing will happen right so if if let's suppose if the companies are going to hire you as a sap consultant what exactly you have to do you have to solve the errors now a person who has not solved even a single error in his entire practice and going to get an opportunity to become a consultant 
what kind of solution he is going to give right that's what i say is okay, better to use online server okay now anyway so here uh, i have opened the correct period here save it so now what we have done the period got open now come back so once again press enter now look at here the next this one okay the next one the next screen so this is also the part of this area is also the part of what guys this is also is the part of line item itself this is also the next screen the first screen a very little person was there that was the part of document header now apart from this whichever the screens are appearing these all are the part of line item so here let's suppose amount business place business area text assignment validate whichever the screens are appearing this is the part of line item okay so let me post the project projects on say next is and i'll show you guys practically how the fields are getting controlled okay because you need to understand each and everything or else like uh, the configurations which we have done right so how system is going to trigger this posting period variant fiscal year variant field status variant isn't it uh, what kind of controls are there that you need to understand so that also one by one once again we'll get back to our previous configurations and i'll let you know so here now so here now what is happening guys you need to give a particular amount now uh so give an amount here and look at here somebody has made this business area as a required entry so where is the control guys i'll show you first of all you just do one thing give a particular amount here right and give this business area we have created t m a n so i'm going to, this is a required entry that is why i'm going to give this business area right and if you want to make it optional you can make it optional and if it is going to be made make it if i'm going to make it optional then need not to give the business area so that is going to be discussed in next session let me post the transaction at least okay so now here let's suppose rent for corporate office let's suppose i have given this text here text means whatever the narration is there can be given okay now now posting key so now what we have given here so this is called line item one debit entry 40. so it means these details i have given for debit entry here whatever the details i have given this is for debit entry and next line item from here onwards again the next line item is going to be started a bit confusing because like multiple screens are going to appear but i'll explain the easiest way nothing to worry about the only thing is like i have to explain each and everything so that you guys uh, each and everything in the sense like sometime what is happening you are going to use a different transaction code at the same time you started searching on google and somebody is using a different transaction code at that point of time again you will be having a question that okay sorry is not explained this right so anyway guys it's there are multiple things huge and huge things are there in sap even if you keep on getting training for one year also i cannot say that this is going to be finished right but since the topic name itself i have given for beginners and also at least from my side i'm trying to explain as much as possible okay and uh, multiple topics are there guys multiple things are there is which is not possible to cover each and everything in a single tutorial right so slowly slowly i'll keep on adding the topics and i'll record different different videos also so first of all as a beginner at least you should have the understanding of the basics and also even in basic also look at here how much things are there to learn right now so posting key 50 why because now credit debit details we have already given here 40 debit details debit details rent account debit how much amount 500 business area is a required entry that is what i have given the business area but next session i'll show you how the fields are getting control so there i am going to make it optional and simply i have given a narration here now here the credit entry 50 and then you have to give the cl account so credit means what bank account is going to be credited and i'm able to remember my bank deal is deal number is 1000 so you have to give 1000 and press enter and your amount once again 500 or else you can do one thing press star button so if you're going to press star button then what will happen whatever the debit amount was there that is going to be copied by system automatically once again here business area again you have to give 
and text field if you want to give rent for corporate office you can type it or else you can give plus button so you, you press plus option plus button you give so what does it mean guys it means whatever the text we have given during debit entry this is going to be paid now so if you want to see the accounting entry like what entry is going before posting if you click here it is going to be posted but before posting if you want to see the accounting entry you click on document and click on simulate here okay shortcut key is also there shift plus f9 so simulate so look at here guys this is what the accounting entry look at here this one and two one means first line item and two means second line item posting key 40 that is your debit posting key and this is your credit posting key which account guys rent account is going to be debited and hdfc bank account is going to be credited which gl number 4000 and 1000 right and how much amount 500 500 is given with the help of posting key let's suppose because as i told you multiple posting keys are there in a different different kind of different different nature of transactions different even kind of transactions will be there in upcoming sessions uh, related to account payable related to account receivable related to uh, what to say uh, what to say uh, asset uh, management and all so during every transactions different different kind of posting key is going to be is, is going to appear here okay instead of uh, 40 like for customer related 01 will be there right uh, for vendor like 31 will be there that is debit and credit i'm talking about right 31 will be there 15 will be there 01 will be there uh, 70 uh, is uh, also a posting key that is during 70 and 75 is going to appear during uh, practice if you are going to practice this asset management and all. So again, uh, is it possible to remember these many posting keys guys? So generally, I'll tell you guys, no need to remember. Even if it is possible also, no need, no need to remember because in most of the cases, system is going to determine the posting key automatically. Okay, how? That also I'll show you right now. So here what is happening the accounting entry everything is fine what do you need to do guys you need to post it save it now at the time of posting look at here now another error i got there is no item category assigned to this one this is your gl account 4000 and this tcoa is nothing but your chart of account right so again another error is appearing guys now so now what is the next error this this next error is related to item category so what you have to do uh, again, as I told you, like I have already, uh, what to say, this is related to this, this error related to our topic called document splitting. Okay, so right, right now don't concentrate on document splitting because that is the part of new GL accounting. Lots of, uh, what do you say, things are there to explain. Okay, for that also video will be recorded. But right now, here what you have to do in order to avoid this error, you need to do one thing guys, you just go to, you just go to, you just do one thing use spro spro means in the very first session i have explained about the path right so use spro and then reference img just click on financial accounting new and here what you have to do you just go to general ledger accounting and under general ledger accounting we are having somewhere business transactions and then here you need to go to document split okay and here you need to click on activate document splitting is there right you need you click on execute okay and you have to remove this check mark even deactivation is there at company code level this activation is there at client level right and if you double click on deactivation for company code and let me try whether this is system is allowing to deactivate at my company code level or not because sometimes certain fund management related the what you say this one is there settings will be there because of that system will throw error also so let me try and let me save it yes system has accepted this okay so if system is accepting then you can apply a deactivation at here and then uh, because if you're going to apply your next time onwards this error will not appear okay we have deactivated this document splitting for your company code for other company code it is active i have nothing to do with other company goes why because i'm performing testing and configurations for my company code right so deactivation for uh, i have done for my company code right if here if you are going to save it let's suppose i have applied a check mark and here if i if you are going to save it and system is not allowing you to proceed further system has thrown some error in that case once again you have to come back and you need to check mark you need to remove the check mark from here and you can save it 
and then you can proceed further but if you're here if you're going to remove this check mark then what will happen guys might be after some time if somebody is going to do their practice for document splitting configurations and all again that guy is going to activate and again you'll be having errors okay so anyway if you are going to get whenever you are going to get the such kind of error where like no item category assigned that is related to document splitting so you need to deactivate that either you can you can remove the check mark here and you can save it or else you can apply deactivations at your company code level how to done how it is going to be done that i have shown you just now press enter now so incorrect automatic hostings are they would say cancelled you just press enter once again now everything is fine control is okay so this error is locked this error is locked in the sense like what is happening guys the changes we have made just now but this screen was open before the changes right so once again i have to use slash and f-02 okay slash and f-02 give your document it once again we are going to give all the details give your gl account our account is going to be debited right your rent account debit press enter and for rent account how much amount 500 amount and business area i'm going to give you and narration can be given and then then what credit in the sense next line item next line item is credit and credit which account again gl account that is bank account is going to be credited with the same amount so what i say you have to give your star mark and there might be chances whatever error error has appeared for me this error will not appear for you guys so you can avoid this you can just forward the video and you can perform your what is this one so now here i said like instead of text this one even you can give plus also so if you are going to give plus then whatever the text we have given a debit line item that is going to be copied by system once again you can simulate this accounting and to see the accounting entry and then you can save it control s now look at here the transaction got posted and look at your document number 1000 was posted in company code tm00 there is a logic behind this i have already explained in the document type uh, sorry at the time of creation of number range i think it is explained but practically once again i'll explain you guys practically once again i'll explain so look at here this is how this is how i have posted the first transactions the first transactions and then you have to see the gl reports in the sense like this transaction got posted so uh, how to view the gl reports and all that is quite easy but that is going to be explained in next session why because again uh, i have to show some more things over there like how you are going to uh, set up your layout over there uh, report layout i can see whenever you are going to see the gl report if you want to change your layout it's quite easy you can change the layout also so that is going to be explained in next session. so this is how transactions are getting posted but this is the this is one way one way in the sense i told you like i have uh, what is saved as zero two even we are having other way also to post the same transactions so how to post in a different way right that is going to be also that i'm going to show you in next session and uh, again next to next session i'll show you this real reports and all and multiple things need to be discussed guys one by one we are going to see so that's all in this session